Hey guys, today I am going to do a quick rundown of chip overclocking because a lot of people have asked me about it, a lot of people have given up on it, bit the first stage, so I've got the chips to go all the way through, so let's uh, look at what you can do with chip overclocking. To go to chip overclocking, you go to your valuable events, and somewhere down there you will find your chip overclocking tab so for the first stage you need four gold chips that you don't want or orange chips whatever they call them I've got four right here that I don't care much for this stage is pretty simple you get the four chips you push overclock you have very little control you turn them into a new chip and you will get this chip right here you don't choose what type of chip it is, what slot it is. Its attributes will be slightly higher than a basic gold, but they may be totally useless to you. And it may not be the type of chip you want. But that's not the worst thing in the world because you can go to the second tab at the top, Advanced Chip Overclock, where you take four of those type of chips and you can overclock those. Now when I overclock these... I get much more control. The new chip I get, I get to pick what set chip it is. So I'm going to pick the Scramsax blade. Then I get to pick what slot it's for. And I'm going to pick slot 6. And that's just because, well, you could do, you could do core... And then you could choose HT attributes, Army attributes, Naval attributes, or Air Force attributes. You could do slot 1 to 3, then you could pick HT offensive, survival, or HT attributes. I'm happy with my attack speed and my left side chips on this set for the first three slots, so I don't think I need to do that. But it's obviously an option to do that as well. If you pick HT Offensive Attributes, you'll get stuff like Damage Increase, Elemental Enhancement, uh, Attack Speed, uh, Crit Damage. If you pick Survival, you'll get stuff like Def, Decreased Damage, uh, HP, you know, that stuff. And if you pick HT Attributes, you could get any of the Attributes. I guess in a perfect world, HT attributes would get you attack speed, damage increase, def, and damage decrease. But the problem is when you pick HT attributes, you have less of a chance to get attack speed because there's more total options of what you could get. But anyway, that's your options for the left side. If you go to the right side, I'll take slot 6, say. You can pick Army, Navy, or Air Force. And I use this on Air Force, so I'll pick Air Force attributes, and I hit overclock. It's going to ask me to confirm to make sure I didn't push the wrong button or anything. Push OK. Let's see what we get. So it's got decreased damage, HP, HP, and Elemental. It's not the best chip in the world. The one I have already is better than that, and that's OK. I wanted that anyway. Because now I can go to top tier chip overclock. Where you need four of the previous overclocks. And if I click these four. And I hit overclock. Now I have even more control. I can pick the set. Let's just assume I do Zystun. The slot. If I do core, I can pick both attributes. And you can see there's a minimum rating you'll get for each attribute. There's some they recommend you to pick. And attribute 2 is the same way. If I pick slot 1, 2, or 3, I can pick again at the type, like offensive, survival, HD, whatever. Let's just say I take HD offensive. I could pick attack speed, damage increase, attack, crit rate, crit damage. I can pick two of the traits I want. I can still pick def and stuff here, even though I picked offensive. Because the two attributes I pick, I could pick any attribute, offensive attributes or other attributes. If I change this to a right side chip, like say slot 4, 
I can again pick what type of attributes I want. And then I can again pick what I get. And there, you can see the minimums there. All the minimums are there. So that's what you get. Now I'm not going to show you the last chip I get because, you know, that's my little secret and you'll have to see it when you see it. But that's basically what you do for overclocking. My usual recommendation is that have a chipset for every heavy trooper you use in a march. So if you use three marches, you need three heavy troopers to have chipsets. And then the rest of your gold, start overclocking them so you can start to focus in and get what you need. Please like, subscribe, and, you know, comment, and show some love. All right, guys, I'll see you soon.